what a joy it is to come to you this evening sharing the word of god it is a joy when we as jclm family and those who have taken time to join with us to hear the word of god we are actually doing what we call the exciting new life i'm actually filling in for pastor nikhil and pastor felix uh, because of the lockdowns we are not able to meet at this moment but i believe in the opportune moment we will meet and then we will go further actually what we are studying today is from the exciting new life chapter 9 and i want to share some word with you and i believe you will be encouraged let me pray with you right now father we thank you for this moment i thank you for the word that you have given us in jesus that you are our savior that life is exciting when we have you with our lord with us all the time i thank you that you are with your people today as they are listening as they are hearing lord they are desiring to hear from heaven i pray that you will speak to them and cause your voice to be heard in jesus name amen amen well doing exciting new life especially this part where we surrender all to him there's two important scriptures that came up and i want to share with you that while you read that there is two things that actually stands out one when we give ourselves to jesus and we know we belong to him sometimes it feels have i really done everything that it takes to live a good and holy life and so many times when you are not living that life you feel sin conscious you feel that you are dirty you you shouldn't have done that you committed yourself to god let me tell you we give ourselves to jesus and jesus takes us as we are and he molds us and he shapes us and he teaches us what we ought to be let me tell you again we give ourselves to god completely it doesn't mean we will not sin it doesn't mean we will not flip and fall at many times so we have our flesh that we need to train so remember this There will be times when we will fall many times we will not obey God's voice I mean there there are bible full of examples how many of them God said do this they did and there are many times God said do that don't do this and they did the opposite but you know in the midst of all what is the most important point here that when we fall we need to arise and re, uh, renew our commitment to God rather than running away from him let us run to him and say lord i'm not leaving you i'm going to stay in you i'm going to keep praying i'm going to keep pers- persistently pursuing what you want me to have don't ever forget that now about surrendering the important thing is not how much you can give to god right in the in in terms of money or service because a lot of people have too much activity in church even pastors they are so occupied in working for Jesus working for Jesus but they don't have time for Jesus and i'm not just saying that it's actually you need to take out time sit down with him pray praise and just just sit down and listen to what he will direct you that's very important so here in second uh, corinthians chapter 8 verse 5 i will read that for you which i believe is very very interesting about the macedonians when they were giving money to him for his ministry with them it wasn't that uh, paul demanded that it was something they gave willingly joyfully they knew that they also gave to the church in um, uh, in jerusalem when they were collecting money and there was shortage and a famine in jerusalem so paul actually was collecting from other churches to take that offering to jerusalem so the saints there could be fed so very important and then in uh Paul rehearses this to the Corinthians and he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 reading from verse 5 and not only as we had hope the way they gave but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God look at what he did it wasn't the money they gave to to Paul to take for the Jerusalem people believers in Jerusalem but they gave themselves to God how important is that child of god think about it. i know you're listening it very very carefully now listen it's not many times how much you sacrifice it's how much of you you have given to him in prayer in his word in meditation now it's very important many times we think we we are preoccupied we have so many things we are doing but we forget to give time 
to Jesus, child of God. I pray that you will give time for him to walk in you. You know, it takes time to, uh, for, for, for example, when you're baking a cake, you put it in the oven. You have to wait. You can't rush it. You can't say, it's five minutes, I want it out. Oh, it's ten minutes, I want it out. No, there is a prescribed time. There is an allocated moment. Different mixtures cook at different time. You know, everybody's in a rush. They want to be righteous in a moment. See, you are righteous in a moment. Your spirit is righteous. But you have a mind you have to renew. You have habits in your body that we are used to. That is contrary to what God would want you to do. So there is a fight. But here you see, that this a Medicinian, the people in medicine. Uh, actually, let me see. Macedonia, the people at Macedonia, what actually they did is, they first gave themselves to God. Amen. What did they do? They gave themselves to God before they gave their offering. Many times people give offering, but they have no time for God. Now that doesn't work. First, as believers, we sacrifice and say, Lord, here I am. Do as you please, whatever your will is. And then you do not, don't do what he tells you to do. Do you know what you should do? Repent, come back and say, Lord, I'm going to stay at it. I'm going to discipline. Uh, I was reading a book. It's a powerful book I was reading by a wonderful man who teaches on leadership. And he said this, Jesus was ruthless about sin. He was ruthless about the devil. He, didn't, he wasn't dealing with it like uh, uh, just easy. No, no, no. He was hard on it. He said no means no. He went against the devil. He went against all that the devil wanted to do. There's another example here that you'd like to read as you've been studying this book. It's actually taken from uh, the book of 1 Kings, chapter 20, verse 4. I was uh, reading this and... Uh, it was really interesting because you should go and read the entire chapter and it's, it's really beautiful. And it talks about, let me see if I can get it for you. Okay, here we are. It talks about how in 1 Kings chapter 20, uh, I went to 2 Kings, I'm going to go to 1 Kings chapter 20 and verse 4. How the 32 kings had uh, has sieged and come against Samaria and the message went and, and, and the king that was leading that was, let me see what his name was. His name was Ben-Hadad. So Ben-Hadad sends a message to King Ahab and says, Hey King Ahab, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to take your daughters, your wives, your possessions and even your kingdom. Now what are you going to do about that? So he sends the message through a messenger and the messenger goes and preaches. Uh, he went, goes to that man and says, this is what King Hadad said. And you remember, 32 kingdoms have come against Samaria, kept, about to capture it. And the message goes. And you know what King Ahab says? It's very interesting. And in this book, Exciting New Life, you will see that uh, Brother uh, Andrew Murray keeps reminding ourselves, though he said it on a very wrong situation, but if you allow that message to dwell in you, how much more can we say that to Jesus? Okay, I'll read this verse 4. And the king of Israel, Ahab, answered and said, My lord, King Hadad, O king, just as you said, I and all that I have are yours. <laughs> You know what that means? He surrendered. He gave up. He said, I give up. You come and do what you want to do. I can't stop you. I will not do anything to you. I mean, think about that. This man gave in without a fight. Oh, we shouldn't do that. I know the fight is on. I know the things that we don't want happening is happening. But you know what? Don't give up. Don't you give up without a fight. Give yourself to Jesus. See, you fight in, you fight against the things that are obstructing you from the walk of God. But when it comes to Jesus, you say, Lord, all that is mine is yours. Come and take. Come and do what you want to do. Lord, things that are not right in your eyes. Take it away, Lord. Huh? Who wants that? Who wants something? Who wants to have something and, and despise Jesus? Who wants to displease God? And nobody wants to say, no, I don't want to displease God. Everybody would say that. I don't want to displease God. But in every way, in every manner we see, we displease God by not doing what we should be doing in His Word. Let, as we are learning, I believe... What we are seeing here is the word of God, it walks. And, and when it walks is when you do like in Ahab. He did it to an outsider king who came to destroy him. What about us believers? If we'd lift our hands and say, Jesus, I want nothing else but you. Like Paul said to me, all things that I thought gain, 
I count loss. <laughs> Think about it. He said, whatever seems to be gains to me, it's all loss. Why? Because I want to know Jesus. Child of God. To know Jesus. What he has done for you. What he is wanting to do for you right now. It surpasses his love. He promised to walk in you. He promised to train you if you are willing. Let me tell you, a soldier who is rebellious, who wouldn't listen to the one training them, he's going to be in so much trouble that at the end, he will be thrown away from the, the training camp. You know why? Because he will not discipline himself to what the leader of that camp is teaching. That's how we should be. Jesus As you teach me through your word, as you teach me through your Holy Spirit, as you teach me in prayer, as you discipline me in reading the word, in listening to things that I need to listen, let me tell you, you know what will happen? You you will totally, not only disciplining yourself, you are surrendering to him, saying, Lord, come and do as you please. You know, many times we are sick. You don't know how to be healed or what to do next. The doctors have done their part. You've been taking medication and now you have passed the place where you, don't, you really don't know what to do. What then will you do now? That's when you say, Lord Jesus, I trust you. I know you have a plan for me. I know when you come, things change. When you say that and when you are wanting to do that, things will begin to happen. Amen. Yes, it will begin to happen. Why? Because it's no more you. It's no more you standing in the way and saying, no, I will not let that happen. See, we saw from King Ahab, he surrendered to an outside force, someone who was not even God. How much more today we, child of God, should surrender to the Holy Spirit, should surrender to the Word of God, should surrender to Jesus, because He promised that I will perfect concerning you. He will perfect it. He will bring us to the place where we will. You know, when I was reading this part or, or this chapter concerning to share with you, I realized that an important part about that, it was about in John 17, but then I was watching verse chapter 15. It says there, abide in me and I in you. You know, that's the power. When we are surrendered and giving, allowing the, the life of Jesus to flow through us, flow through us, Lord. If he flows through you, you don't have to struggle to be fruitful. Amen. You will be fruitful. You don't have to struggle. So I want to encourage you, really encourage you with this small message that give yourself to him. And even if you fall, say, Brother Brian, I have fallen so many times. I've done so much wrong. I've surrendered. Then I fall again. I said, no, no, no. Let me tell you. Surrender yourself to him. Begin to pray. Stand fast in prayer. If you fall, repent. Repent and name that sin and say, Lord, I I let it go and I surrender my body, my mind, my thoughts, my mouth, all my desires. I surrender totally. Whatever you choose, let it be done. It's like Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done. That's the true surrender you should be looking for. Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. I believe uh, this message helps you. You know, I know many times we, we deal with sin. We think, oh, sin, sin. No, no, it's no. Think about Jesus. Then when you fall, get up and say, Lord, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to stay in the prayer. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay focused in everything you said I need to be stay focused on. Because where you focus, that's what we become. Especially times like this, when you're at home or, or when you are not out there and you don't know what to do really. Stay in the Word as much as you can and, and keep your ears for feeding the Word of God. I know many things else you will do. You will do YouTube, you will watch or you will watch a movie here and there. Or go and meet with your family. Oh, you can't meet them families now, but sit down and have a family time and eat food. Do all those things. But at the same time, remember to put Jesus and tell Him, Lord, I am yours to command. Amen. Let me pray with you. Let me speak a word of, of faith to you so that your life will be changed. Father, thank you for this moment and this time. We could share the word, Lord. It's true how the Medicinian people, Lord God, in, they came and gave themselves to you. They surrendered themselves before they gave their wealth. The same thing is about how King Ahab negatively gave in to the tyrant king. How much more today, like Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I pray that every one of us today will say, come and have your way. 
I surrender all. What a wonderful song in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining with us. Thank you, family, uh, or JCLM family. It's a joy to have you always joining with us. And those who have taken time to hear this message, let me tell you, I, I was just reminded while I was going through this uh, prayer, uh, there's a beautiful song. Take time. Go. Uh, if, uh, I know you're at home. What you want to do now is get that old song. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender. I tell you, hear those words. If, if you can have a YouTube where actually they have those words in it you can read those and be encouraged and be blessed child of god what a joy you know stay in the word okay stay in the word and you stay in prayer and you stay praying and believing you know many times we could be wasting our hours and time doing a lot of things that does not profit But please spend time in the Word and spend time in prayer and you will see that surrender will pay off. I'll say that again. Your surrender to Jesus and His Word and prayer will pay off great dividends. And what a joy it is to share with you this Word. Remember that God the Father loves you. We love you and pray for you. And that Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you. Learn more from God's Word and send us your prayer request by visiting our website www.jclm.org or you can like our Facebook page Jesus Christ is Lord Ministries to keep up with the now word of the Lord for the season follow us on Instagram JCLM Fiji better still subscribe to our YouTube channel JCLM Fiji to receive the latest teaching of God from the ministry if you like to host Brother Brian for teaching and ministering at your church or host a conference You can contact our church office 3315202.